Reality Painted walls These walls ain't gonna paint themselves Yeah 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 Paint it Paint it Paint it Paint it Or paint it Jason Explains Things presents The Gilded Throne Room Episode number two Painting Walls! Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode. Today, very exciting, I'm going to show you how to paint walls. So before you get started, you want to make sure that your walls are in good shape. You want to make sure all your little holes and any scratches or dents are all filled in. And I've gone to the liberty of doing all that beforehand. Next thing you want to do after your walls are already in prepped, is you just want to make sure you got no cobwebs, any of that kind of garbage. So all our little wall, uh, all our little walls. <laughs> okay, so our walls are all nice and clean and prepped. Now it's time to do a primer sealer. Um, you know, some paint comes with like primer in it, but in my experience, you just use more and more of that paint and it's, that's the expensive stuff. So I recommend using a, um, a primer like this one. This is a, a Zinser Bullseye One Two Three primer for all surfaces. It's my sweet paint hat. So now it's time to paint the ceiling. So we're going with a white color for the ceiling and then as you see I actually just installed this light fixture here and this kind of this greenish grayish uh, color for the walls. But uh, because it's a lighter color, I'm going to do the ceiling first and uh, let that dry and then we're going to do the walls after that. Um, so two coats, two coats of paint. So let's get going. So just like last time, I want to cut in on all the edges up there, and then we'll roll two cuts. is just use your fingernail and just rub, run along the edge. And that way it really presses this down because the worst thing ever is to line a nice tape line and then you pull it off and it bubbled up underneath there like that. And that's happened to me all the time. So uh, I've had good luck with just running your finger up along that tape line and then uh, it looks a lot better, sometimes. <laughs> So I'm all for using disposable paint 
brushes, but sometimes when you're doing detail work like this, it's really good to, uh, to use good ones. So this is a, uh, specifically made for cutting in and, uh, and doing trim. So I recommend, you know, don't go cheap on stuff like this because it takes forever to fix it if you screw up. So uh, let's go. But you know what, this bathroom project has only begun, so stay tuned.